Yo, what's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing an ultimate guide to Grossbeat, so let's get right into it. Now, Grossbeat is a default FL Studio plugin that lets you manipulate time and volume of anything you run through it. You can get stutter effects, half speed, slow triplets. You can add vinyl offs or vinyl starts or all sorts of different vinyl effects. And you can even manipulate the volume like adding gates and breaks and do some really cool stuff. This top part here, the green area, if you will, is the time manipulation, and then the bottom is the volume manipulation. Going to the presets, like for example, if we go to repeater, you can see that there's time manipulation that goes with volume manipulation, meaning this repeat A, it has a gate A as well. So if we listen to this effect on this beat, first here's the beat with no effects. We put both the time and the volume effect on. Don't have to have them line up the same for example i can put repeat a on and then go over here and put like a gate j on i could, or i could even change the time to something else that right there's fire sometimes the volume manipulation can be too much but you can edit all these presets which we're going to talk about a bit more here in a second some of these presets like for example if we go to turntable list and we click on one of the time presets, it's locked to one of these volume presets. As you can see here, when I'm clicking around, the time and volume are locked together. And if I go down here and try to choose a different volume, it still only plays what it's locked to. That's because there's a button right here. That's the link volume slot. If you click that, now you can choose a different volume slot and have it play with a different time slot. So keep that in mind as well. Some of my favorite presets in here, I like the momentary presets. There's some really good ones. There's slow triplet. You got your half speed. And this is also where various vinyl effects are, like a vinyl stop, vinyl off, Vinyl on, vinyl push, etc. And you got juggle effects, you got different repeating effects, and all sorts of stuff. Another place that I like to go to is patterns. There's some really cool stutter effects that you can get in here. For example, like this one right here is pretty cool. Or this one right here is really dope to add on to drums. So that's basic three and the first one I showed was basic seven. There's a lot of really good ones in here like basic 10. And then the presets we were in earlier, the repeater, there's some really good ones in here like that break A preset. You also got flanging, which is pretty cool. You can add a flange effect. Flange one, two, and three are pretty good, but then static flange is also really good. Notice when I'm clicking through these presets, it eventually changes, but once the bar loops again, once it gets to the next bar, for example, watch this. You can see the progress of the audio going through the actual preset. Watch it when I click to something else. You'll see that it transfers, but not until the next bar. You see what I'm saying? So Grossbeat has little things like that. And there are some things like, let's go back to slow triplet because you can really hear it in moments like this. If we go to slow triplet and I hit play and start moving stuff around, it's gonna get off beat and it's very annoying. You hear how it starts to sound weird? That's because you gotta link gross beat to the beat. So we're gonna go back into gross beat and go down here to the bottom right and do trig sync one beat and position sync one beat. All right, now when we play and move stuff around, it's not gonna mess up. Goodbye. 
So definitely remember that because you'll definitely run into that issue with grow speed. So all of these presets we can manipulate manually or even create our own presets. You can even find really cool packs of presets online that the community have created. You just have to search free grow speed packs. I like this one, the basic seven, but I don't like this part over here. This is a grid system that grow speed has. So you can go over here to choose your snap to grid. We'll keep it at one eighth, but we can literally just right click points in like so. It's actually, I just want to remove this over here because it adds a weird effect. If we listen, I don't really like that for just, you know, one little part of a bar. I'd rather just have this stutter right here. So I just removed it. Yeah, just experiment with this and, and play around with it and put in different points in different areas. Like for example, I just put one right here. Depending how you put in the points, like for example, if I put in something like this and it has this slant, that's going to do some kind of pitch up. If we were to do something like this where it's slanted in the opposite way, it's going to pitch it lower. And you also got a tension knob in between your points that you can mess with and add in different inclines. That's how you kind of create those tape stop effects. If you just go through the presets and listen to what it's doing and look at how the pattern is, that'll also help you learn to create your own kind of cool things. Like, see, look at this. This one looks crazy. It's complex 12 in the patterns presets. You can really get specific grooves and you can do all of that with your volume presets as well. They act the same as the time presets. So there are a bunch of different things that you can do other than editing the preset to actually manipulate the preset that are built, that's built in. So if we go back over to momentary, put on slow triplet down here, we can turn on the one shot mode. That's just going to make whatever effect we click go for one bar only. So if we turn that on, we have this slow triplet. See, it switches back to whatever this empty slot is. So actually, you could change the empty slot and have it be something else if you want. It just switched to empty and did whatever that was. There's also a hold button right here that you can click. And when that's on, it'll hold whatever is playing. So if we play this and, and mess with the hold... Just gonna hold whatever bar it just played and there's also these knobs here you can change the mix of the time and the volume how much it's actually uh being heard with against the dry sound so if we bring this down it'll be more of the dry sound and less of the effect so if we listen to this and i'll drag it down you can really hear what it's doing <laughs> Same thing if I put on a gate here and turn the volume down. So you can get some cool stuff that way as well. Another cool thing that we can do is if we bring the time knob down, just so it's not super loud, what we're about to do next, we can manipulate this. We can bring move this around and it'll make scratch effects. This is called the time offset or scratching area. So if you really mess with that, you can get some cool stuff and you can link or automate any of these things in here. By link, I mean link it to a controller. For example, I can right click this to link to controller. Then I'm going to move one of the knobs on my controller and now it's linked and I can slide this around and manipulate it that way. Or I can right click on any of these and create automation clips. So if we go to the playlist and highlight the area that we want the automation clip, we can go back into the gross beat. You can either right click on any of the parameters and do create automation clip and it'll create this kind of automation clip with the points. 
Or what I like to do is do a manual automation clip for something like this, which means we're going to highlight the area in the playlist and also add in its own pattern and then drag it out like so. Go back into the gross beat. And now I'm just going to go up to the recording button, right click, make sure notes and automation is on, left click to arm. I'm just gonna mess with this manually and I'll record it into that pattern. So you see that pattern is recording that automation and now hear that it's there what I would also recommend doing though is bringing the mix knob down on gross beat right click create automation clip on that and just put in points like this we only want this effect to happen in specific areas right so now it won't affect the rest of the beat it'll just happen in that eight bar part now you can also automate multiple presets within one automation in gross beat this can get you a lot of sauce for example, we're going to automate a couple of these presets here, like basic seven. We're going to have that in, then it's going to go to a basic three, back to basic seven, and then over to basic two. What we're going to do is I'm going to highlight the area that I want this, and I'm going to put in an empty pattern just like we did before and drag it to that area. Go back into the gross beat, go up to the recording button, make sure notes and automation is on left click to arm it once again now we're just going to hit play and click through these presets and it's going to record that movement into that pattern so now we have a pattern that has recorded that movement doesn't change what's popping up on the pattern over here but you can see it's moving between the presets over here when the automation is going and once again I do the same thing we did before bring the mix knob down on gross beat right click create automation clip just to have it only happen in that moment So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you have a better understanding on gross beat now. Let me know down below if you want me to go in depth on some of the presets and really talk about the different groups of presets that are in gross beat because there's a lot of sauce in there and I only touched on a few of them. If this video brought you value, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.